landscaper hammers a stake six feet from the base of a tree. A wire goes from the stake to a spot eight feet up the tree. How long must the wire be? So with a problem like this, it's very helpful to draw a diagram so that you can visualize which sides are the legs and which side is the hypotenuse. So here we have a tree. And from the base of the tree, the landscaper hammers a stake that is six feet away. So he puts this little stake in the ground, and that's six feet away. A wire goes from the stake to a spot eight feet up the tree. So eight feet up the tree, the wire links to it. So how long should this wire be? So we're looking for C, the hypotenuse. We have the legs, eight feet and six feet. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A, which is eight, plus, oops, let's substitute in here our six. Six squared is going to equal the wire squared, the length of the wire. 64 plus 36 equals C squared. 64 plus 36 is 100. So the square root C equals the square root of 100 is 10. So the wire should be 10 feet. Let's check and make sure our answer is correct. Is 10 feet the longest? as the hypotenuse should be? Yes, it is. Thank you for watching educator.com.